Hey guys, I'm going to paint on these little shapes here. I have a few different, whoops, a few different kinds, but today I'm just going to paint on this little truck and a camper. So I have some extra paint left from the magnets that I was doing last night, and this was the best way to use up the paint so it doesn't go to waste. I'm just gonna basically dirty pour on it. Uh, this one I'll do the red, white, and black. Here we go. So these are just wood cutouts I got from our local, like, well, we call it a craft store, but it's kind of a little bit of everything liquidator store. Um, these are actually, they're by a company called Darius, or Darius, D-A-R-I-C-E. They have a lot of craft items, but they're the ones who actually sell these to that company. I'm using the front facing camera so I can't really see exactly where I'm at. Cool. Looks pretty neat. Just getting in these little crevices here. See if I can reach in there without mucking up the design. And that is what it looks like. So I'm just going to grab my stick here. Those stick. And just poke it in the holes here so that it pops that bubble. Cool. I probably should have taped off the back. Set this aside. Actually, so I'll probably have to watch those holes so they don't fill up again. All right, let's do this cool little camper I have here. For those of you who don't know me personally, we are huge camp addicts in the summer. So if we're not able to go this summer, it's going to be pretty awful. Um, this is turquoise purple velvet, or no, sorry, Caribbean purple velvet and gold. And we're going to do the same thing here, just a dirty pour. Try to go in stripes. That's usually the color pattern on campers. Give it a tilt here. Make sure I get into the grooves and the window. And these are fun little practice shapes to practice on for those who are new or 
don't really want to buy canvas and want something a little more usable, you can turn these into a wind chime or some kind of thing to hang off the awning of your camper. Get some of that paint out of those crevices. So I'm just kind of blowing down in between the cracks here to make sure that paint gets on all the sides in there. Tilt a little more where my finger touched some of the other pieces or other sides. And there we have it. A little gold shimmer in there. It will be cute just to put some outdoor clear on it and dangle it from whatever. But a quick little video. Something fun to do. These I think were a dollar a piece at, um, well if you live in our area it's called Butter Buys. Um, but Walmart's got pre-made shapes, too. I don't really know exactly what they have, but they have flowers and animals, I think. If you can find them now. Some of the craft sections are pretty out of stock with things. But yeah, let's do a little closer up. Let's see if I can. All right, here they are. There's the camper. You can see some of that gold shimmer in there. Sorry about the light glare. And then there is the truck. Some pretty cool stripes. Rings a little bit. Cool. Let me know what you guys think. I've got some flowers here and a leaf or two that I want to do too. So I'll make another short little video. Thanks for watching.